we have given the student the assignment and we checked on originality reports now how it works actually is uh, that it tries to search for the content across all the millions of web pages that are available and the books that are available on the internet and it tries to find out matches now of course uh, this will not help you to find out peer to peer uh, duplicacy of content if it is not uploaded on the web as of now and this is what it is so uh, let's see how as an instructor we can check the originality report of a student so now this was the assignment that i had posted and this is the submission that i have received so i click on this and here i'll be able to see the document that the student has submitted now frankly this particular document has been copied from two places without any paraphrasing or anything at all and this is the content of this document now on the right hand side here you will be able to see this thing which is the originality report now as of now as a student i have made this submission with complete plagiarism i have not done any citations and i have just plainly copied the content here now if you click over here it talks about four flagged passages to view the originality report we just have to click here now once you do that you'll be able to see your document as well as the matches that it found of that document with some other documents which were there on the internet now here you can see that it shows there are four flagged passages or four web matches so these are the components or the parts of the document which have been copied and have not been and there are no suitable citations so the citation is not there so if i click over here so some part of the content i picked from wikipedia and some other part from geeks for geeks now if i click on wikipedia it is going to show me that this is the part that i have copied from there the student has copied from there so this particular part is from wikipedia similarly these two instances are also from wikipedia so this is the first part now if i click here you will be able to see that this is the second part which has been copied and again if i click this is the third part which has been copied so all of this has been copied from wikipedia so you can get it instantly now getting back here now i click on geeks for geeks and you will be able to see there is one match and in fact this entire part is copied now over here you will be able to see that two numbers have been given these are two citations that have been done and if i click on it you will be able to see that it redirects me to the appropriate uh, reference that has been used since it is as it is copied so these two are now considered a part of the document which are cited and hence it is not being shown in the flagged passages part if you also want that this should be shown then you can just select this and now even this has become a part so now you can very clear, carefully see whether appropriate paraphrasing has been done or not and appropriate citations have been done or not so this is the count aspect you can also see what percentage of the uh, document has got matches in documents from the web so for that you click on percentage and it will it is showing that it has got 78% flagged content so out of 78% 61% is from geeks from geeks and 16% is from wikipedia